Hello everyone. Today we're going to discuss the text object tag is in the uh, dashboard button. So uh, this is a new text talk, uh, object. Uh, normally there is a there is a text box in the charts here, uh, text and image. But this one as a new one, it has more capabilities. So it's there in the if you go to custom object and you go to dashboard bundle, it's there uh, available there. Uh, it's available in November 2023 onward or on cloud. So to use this, just drag that uh, into the canvas. So what I did during testing, I thought, you know, I, uh, since uh, it has a lot of capabilities, so let me just show you some of the capabilities. I can enter text, etc. It has table, uh, have different types of um, uh, styles here, uh, fonts, font size, and then we can add the link as well. Um, it's I change the font color, alignment, etc and then we can add a table here as well so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna see that you know if i have already formatted it somewhere so can we use that or not so let's see that i have here a word document so i'm just gonna copy paste this one and let's do that till deliverable and i'm gonna paste it over if you see uh, it seems like you know not active colors etc hasn't been copied automatically uh, some of the things has been copied uh, but it's not like, you know, everything is copied. So what I'm going to do is in order to, you know, um, make it more relatable, I'm just going to change the colors over here. And this one is more bluish. So I'm going to go into, it's brighter, I would say. So... I don't know uh, maybe this color is more suited so uh, you see we don't have the color that we have just recently used so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this from here and I'm gonna and uh, it's not that easy if I press control here and I press it uh, copy that uh, multiple rows I cannot do that so I have I have to do it one by one so here we go I have to do it one by one I'm not gonna do that for everyone so here we go okay so another thing that i'm gonna show you that it's it's in the notes tab here so if you see it's a bit of different style so i can i have the option for the different types of the headings or you know paragraphs. so what i'm gonna do is if i am gonna use quote here so you see it's slightly um low um uh, more grayish less black and you see it has added so it seems like you know some notes or uh, uh, other things, some um, sub lines, sub text, etc. And uh, definitely, I can then there there are not all the font sizes that are available here, uh, but some of them are available. Most widely used are available over here. And uh, then another thing that we have is uh, uh, I if I want to do a list, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this dot remove dot here, which got copied automatically when I. Um, copied from that word here so let's see I'm gonna add here so if you see only the last line has got that so uh, in order to you know make sure that this is an order list uh, we need to add that in front of each line okay and uh, the next thing is what if if we want to add it as a ordered list so it was unordered list so let's say if we use the order list let's see what happens so you see same case here um so let's see what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add this list and what see what let's see what happens if i click here so you see uh, they are side by side so it automatically uh, take one two three okay and so that's that's uh, majorly the alignment etc and then we can similarly yes these are the options i'm not going to go over there bold italic you can 
insert a link over here so let's say if you want to insert on this word so you can just select them and uh, uh, add a link over here um, whatever link you want to do once you add that and you click here so if you can just click or it will become you know uh, addable so if I say google.com just click here and if I go in here and if I say yeah, this is google.com and it will go take me to the google.com okay okay so uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is yeah alignment here so let's just check a few alignment options here so it I can have a center line I can have a right aligned or I can just normal left line uh, important thing is the last uh, the last but not the least is the table thing so uh, we have a table over here so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy this whole part here table here and I'm gonna paste it over here so once I paste it if you see uh, things are not automatically pasted each cell has become a different row. so we cannot copy paste the table though we can create the table from here uh, for click so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click oh sorry just click on this table and it will create a table and if you want to change the properties of this table more rows more columns so we can just click on this drop down whenever you are in any cell you will see this drop down click over here you will see the option and you can toggle between the borders there are not many options but just small this option I can add a different row or a column so let's add a different column you can type text here or you can add formula here uh, by the way you can add formula anywhere in here as well as an example I would say total rows so I'm just showing that here and then I'm gonna use this over there as well so I'm gonna say total rows are records so sum of records so yeah, this is my total rows so I can change uh, all the operations that we have if I select it I can do all the operations that we did on normal so what I'm gonna do over here now I'm gonna say uh, tables columns I'm, I'm pressing tab and it's changing and rows and then I press that and now I'm gonna add some formula here um, so I'm gonna say table name so I'm gonna choose the count of them and then I'm gonna click here and the next thing is I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, count of fields for the columns and then I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add uh, records so I'm gonna sum them up okay so we can change the formatting from here as well so let's just change this one and uh, number I'm gonna just use simple number okay so this is uh, the formatting and then if we click I click over here and I can uh, change the formatting here as well uh, whatever is selected I'm just gonna control Z so I think the two were selected so I'm just gonna put use this one and yeah, so I can you know you can change the uh, property to individual unlike the click table if this is not that straight table where you have automatically do you add a dimension here and you you know you see that uh, for in this table each cell is a represented by a different formula so you have to put separate formula for each other so it's not very convenient for normal okay so if I click here and I can do that uh, you know I can see this one okay so and this is a very nice scroll over here as well uh, another thing that we can do with this table is we can add the background uh, so I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in appearance style and I'm gonna add this image from the media library and let's use this test image I'm gonna go insert and then we have some nice options I'm gonna say you, you go to the bottom and not the original size always fit with the width here we go uh, and now you see it's a nice image over here which is uh, seems like a very good um, on it okay so but uh, though it's not in this particular text um, the formula over here that we have used uh, it's not like click table but still if I do selections it's gonna work so let's just uh, again use table name 
so I'm gonna drag that over here this table name so let's just do that and now just focus here once I do a selection so if I do a selection so you see table name has changed and number of rows has changed I think column is not directly uh, connected associated so nothing has changed over here so that's it for today's uh, discussion uh, do let me know how, uh, if you need any more detail or how do you like this video thank you very much for watching